an amazing tool to generate visuals from your text. Today, guys, I want to share with you Napkin AI, which is a tool that I've stumbled upon when I wanted to create a visual presentation for you about AI agents. Now, the whole idea of creating a guide for about agents came to my mind after I discussed with a friend of mine and I told him about AI agents. He knew nothing about AI agents. And while we were talking, I realized how excited I am about the concept of AI agents. Although in the last few months, it seems like the progress and development of AI agents has been a bit slowing down, at least in terms of Autogen not publishing too many um, new releases or updates. Crew AI is still moving forward and building new features, but I don't feel that there were any significant changes in the AI, AI agent space, but I still am a big believer in the power of agents. So I decided to build this comprehensive guide and I wanted to share it with you. The one thing that was stopping me was the fact that it was just a huge, huge chunk of text, as you can see here. I'm still going to publish this video, but when I thought about, okay, how can I make this more visually appealing or more exciting? Um, I kind of didn't have any good idea. So I just decided to create other videos uh, about updates of Claude Dev or tests that I've been doing with different AI coding assistants or new tools. But then I stumbled upon Napkin AI and Napkin AI is a tool it, which is currently free because uh, they are in beta. It allows you to generate visuals from your text. Now you have two alternatives. You can, your first alternative is just give it a prompt and then it will generate text and the visuals for you. Or the other alternative is giving it a text as I have here and just asking it to create visually appealing diagrams or images. So check this out what I did. I took the original te text. So part one, what are the variables that we control when we are using LLMs? And again, this is for the videos that I wanted to create about the importance of AI agents. So we have the system prompt, the temperature, knowledge base, amount of shots, prompt engineering, the model selection, the max tokens, the top P, the presence and frequency penalties, etc. context window size, uh, and much more. And what I did over here, you can just select the whole thing, the whole chunk of text, like I have here, and then click the auto spark and it's going to generate visuals. As you can see here, it generated these visuals. I didn't do anything. I just gave it the text and then it gave me a few alternatives. I selected the one that I wanted. And as you can see, this is what I got. Now the next part is about inherent differences between LLM. So Claude has been as uh, capabilities that OpenAI doesn't have. OpenAI has capabilities, pros and cons that a Llama doesn't have, etc. So this is also something that I wanted to cover. And then I just selected, I click this button of the auto spark, and this is the visual that it generated. And more examples over here. And this is something that I, I created from scratch. This is, I asked it for best practices for writing a prompt. So we created all this text. And now I can just generate the visual. So let's assume that I want to create a visual for this, provide context. So this is a, a guideline for creating prompts. You need to provide, con providing context helps the LLM understand the background of your request. Include relevant details that can guide the model in generating a more accurate response. For instance, if you're asking for a summary of a book, mention the title and author to give the model a frame of reference. Now let's create a visually appealing representation of this paragraph. Now we have different alternatives. How to improve response accuracy. Request context, use default settings. Now we have different alternatives. So we have this one background information, relevant details, clear instructions, specific examples. This is a different representation. So we have a ton of representation, you see? And this could be very useful for 
uh, your work, if you're presenting data, if you're doing storytelling, you're doing a presentation, whatever you want. As you can see, many different alternatives, which seems very, which seem very nice and well designed. I would never, I mean, it would take me ages to generate so cool visuals. Um, once you select a specific visual, let's assume we select this one, you can also style it. You have different stylings. So let's click this one. You can change the text and you can obviously change the colors. And you can also download the, the audio, I mean the image, sorry about that. So just a very powerful tool to add visuals to your text different forms of visuals you can also edit it very easily and i think this is very useful especially i mean everybody needs to present stuff in a uh, in an engaging manner and this is just is going to speed the whole process of creating presentations there are tools out there that create presentations from text but in my opinion this is the most powerful tools that I've just encountered because it creates so many alternatives and it's actually it actually creates beautiful stuff. I guess that's it for today guys. Just a short video about this tool called Napkin AI that will allow you to generate visually appealing or visuals which are appealing based on your text or it can also ge generate the text from scratch. Stay tuned for uh, my upcoming video about AI agents and their potential and utility. Hopefully, I'll have enough patience to also use this tool and design it nicely for you guys. If you have any questions or feedback, obviously leave them in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And until next time, keep on automating.